The Unity Temple in Oak Park, Illinois was designed and constructed by Frank Lloyd Wright after the original church was destroyed by fire. The temple is now being restored and will take at least two years for the complete restoration. I would suggest that you use the pause button to read the next two plaques and then listen to the video for further information. Is the religious group that um, commissioned the building in 1905, uh, built it until 1908, uh, and still uses it. This is a fully functioning church. Um, so that said, by the middle of the 20th, in 1970s, the building was in dire straits physically. Uh, so a restoration foundation was formed. Your contribution goes to the restoration, which, by the way, is $25 million yeah, over the next two years. Uh, the building, you're lucky to be here now. Of course, this is a National Historic Landmark. 2016, it, it will appear on the list of World Heritage Sites. Yeah. Right. It had 10 buildings listed on there. Anyhow, you're lucky to be here now because it closes solid um, at May 30th. So, lucky you. Anyhow, uh, Wright had a number of challenges in um, uh, building the building and designing it. Uh, one was the size of the lot. As you can see, the lot is very small. It's just where the blue part is. Um, and the edges of these uh, planters, for example, are literally on the borderline, which you couldn't do today because of zoning. And you see the building is pushed all the way back, which you couldn't do because of zoning. Um, so what he was doing was trying to make a building that looked as monumental as it could in a very small space. and. Uh, he put this, we're in this building, we're right over here now. Uh, you came down across this way and in and here. Uh, this is called the church house, the informal part of the building. This is the temple, uh, which is the formal part, of course. Um, now, another challenge he had was noise. Lake Street was the main street of Oak Park, still is, had a trolley. Trains up and down here, so you had to take noise into consideration. But another big challenge, I don't know if you noticed, it was the church across the street, mm -hmm. which existed at the time he was designing this. Um, you can see it's traditional. Wooden front, and they added to it. Uh, a parishioner made the lot available, which was really important to them because it was on Lake Street, and they didn't want, but they didn't want the building to look like any of these other Protestant churches. Um, so he designed it in a very modern style, heavy emphasis on geometry, as you can see. Um, and then he made the most um, important decision about the building, and that is to do it out of poured, reinforced concrete. This building is all one piece of poured concrete. Um, he did that because it was the cheapest way to build the building, cheaper than brick, stone, or wood, because it could be done in sections, poured, and then the section moved and poured, et cetera. It took two years to, to do that process. Uh, the advantage was that it, uh, he could do this wonderfully, uh, what we call plastic looking building. It's uniform in color, texture, all over. Uh, uh, that's the advantage. We'll talk about the disadvantages later on. <laughs> uh, one more thing, you came up the other side, but it's identical to this one. Uh, you heard at the home studio about the path of discovery. Well, here it happens. Uh, you have to come up, and you can't see the front door from the street, and you have to turn uh, and see it from the porch. So let's go out on the porch and start again from here. <laughs> 